In a battle of suburban council powerhouses, Shenandoah and Columbia, pitching was a priority, but in the end, it was the bats that made the difference. Columbia took the early 1-0 lead when Eric Martin came across on A.J. Maney's RBI single. Shenandoah tied it at one apiece when Michael Katita scored on this pass ball. Columbia pulled ahead 2-1 in the top of the third when Jonas Goodell scored from second base on an RBI single by Ryan Henchy. I was just thinking my last at bat, I mean, I didn't take advantage of the fastball, hitters count. I'm just thinking right, runners on base, scoring position, just going up there thinking fastball first pitch, gave it to me right on the inside corner, and I just took it. I mean. Columbia wasn't about to suffer a power outage with Jonas Goodell hitting a two-run shot over the center field wall to tie it up 4-4 in the top of the fifth. Shenandoah senior Christopher Miller got the opportunity to practice his home run trot with this solo shot in the bottom of the sixth inning that put the Plainsmen ahead 5-4. to four. Off the bench and into the spotlight jumped Columbia's Mike Luther who delivered this game-winning grab-by single in the top of the seventh inning for the Blue Devils. It's just a rush, man. I mean, you get that feeling, you're preparing yourself for that hit, for that at bat. You know, um, he just, he's a lefty and lefty. He wanted to get a righty up there to give us a good chance to get a hit. You know, I mean, this is a great feeling. Well, I think it really it goes back to um, just watching the guys in practice take BP. And uh, Michael, the, the kid who was a pitch hitter, um, you know, he was our starting DH for a while, batted fourth for us the first couple games. And, uh, you know, got, he, he, he started getting his timing off a little bit, and he's been working at it in practice, and he's been really hitting the ball great in practice. Uh, decision, you know, lefty on lefty. You know, I, I think there's a, a, a big advantage having a righty hit on a lefty. Um, and um, Cass, who's an excellent hitter, excellent player, has struggled the last couple bats against lefties. So I thought, you know, it was a pretty, you know, no-brainer, to be honest with you. Yeah. It, it, it was the, a mid-game. The, these are two of the better teams in the league. Yeah. We travel together to Maryland. They're very familiar with each other. There's a number of kids that play South Troy Dodgers together. Yeah. Um, so... Everybody understands each other, and, and like I said to you earlier, w you know, we had two pitches in a row, two batters in a row with a chance to finish the game, yeah. and we didn't. I told my players it's May 2nd, not May 22nd, yeah. and, and just learn from the experience. Is it, is it a tough loss? Absolutely. The game's tough just to begin with. So um, this is like I, like I told Jim, it's a sure. very mature group. Yeah. They'll they will come back and they'll have a great practice tomorrow. They'll respond and we'll go to Avril Park on Friday, and that's the great thing about baseball. You get to play another game yeah. within a day or so and kind of flush what just happened.